Why does consciousness exist? Consciousness is one of the most profound and enigmatic phenomena in existence. It refers to our subjective awareness of the world, our thoughts, emotions, and sensations. Despite its centrality to human experience, the question of why consciousness exists remains an enduring mystery. Scientists, philosophers, and theologians have grappled with this question for centuries. Yet a definitive answer eludes us. Exploring why consciousness exists requires delving into philosophy, neuroscience, and evolutionary biology, each of which provides unique perspectives on this perplexing issue. From a philosophical standpoint, consciousness has long been debated as a fundamental part of human existence. Rene Descartes famously declared, I think, therefore I am, suggesting that the act of thinking is inseparable from the existence of the self. This perspective highlights the intimate connection between consciousness and personal identity. Philosophers like David Chalmers have described the problem of consciousness as the hard problem, distinguishing between the objective mechanisms of the brain and the subjective experiences it produces. While science can explain how neurons fire and how stimuli are processed, it struggles to explain why these processes give rise to the feeling of being aware. In the realm of neuroscience, the focus shifts to understanding the biological mechanisms that underlie consciousness. Advances in brain imaging and cognitive science have revealed intricate neural networks that correspond to different aspects of conscious experience. For instance, the prefrontal cortex is associated with decision-making and self-awareness, while the thalamus and cortical areas play key roles in sensory perception. Yet, understanding the mechanics of consciousness is not the same as understanding its existence. Why should a complex network of neurons generate subjective experience? Neuroscientists have proposed theories like integrated information theory, which suggests that consciousness arises when information is highly integrated across a system. However, these theories still grapple with the fundamental why behind the emergence of awareness. Evolutionary biology offers another perspective by suggesting that consciousness may have evolved as an adaptive advantage. In this view, awareness of one's surroundings and the ability to reflect on internal states could have enhanced survival and reproduction. For example, being conscious of potential dangers or understanding the intentions of others would provide a significant advantage in navigating complex social and environmental challenges. Moreover, consciousness might play a role in decision-making by enabling organisms to simulate future scenarios and weigh possible outcomes. Yet, this explanation does not fully account for the qualitative nature of conscious experience, often referred to as qualia. Why do we feel pain rather than merely respond to harmful stimuli? Why do we experience joy, sadness, or awe, rather than function as highly efficient, unconscious machines? These questions underscore the limits of evolutionary explanations. The existential implications of consciousness further deepen the mystery. Many religious and spiritual traditions view consciousness as a reflection of a divine or universal essence. For instance, some Eastern philosophies like Advaita Vedanta describe consciousness as the fundamental reality underlying the universe. Similarly, various Western theological traditions see consciousness as a gift from a higher power granting humans the ability to reason, create, and form meaningful relationships. While these perspectives provide profound insights, they also rely on metaphysical assumptions that cannot be tested empirically. Another intriguing possibility is that consciousness is not an accidental byproduct of evolution, but a fundamental feature of the universe. Panpsychism, a philosophical view gaining traction in recent years, suggests that consciousness is a basic property of all matter, akin to mass or charge. According to this view, even the smallest particles possess some rudimentary form of awareness, and human consciousness arises from the complex organization of these basic conscious elements. While this idea challenges traditional scientific paradigms, it offers a compelling alternative to the notion that consciousness is simply an emergent property of brain activity. Ultimately, the question of why consciousness exists may never be fully answered. It is possible that our understanding of the universe is limited by the very nature of our consciousness. Just as a fish might never comprehend the concept of water, 
we may be unable to fully grasp the mechanisms or purpose of our awareness. Nevertheless, the pursuit of understanding consciousness continues to inspire profound questions about the nature of existence, the limits of human knowledge, and the interconnectedness of all living beings. The search for answers is not merely an intellectual exercise. Consciousness is central to our experience of life, shaping how we perceive the world, interact with others, and make sense of our place in the cosmos. Whether it is a gift from a higher power, an evolutionary adaptation, or a fundamental aspect of reality, consciousness invites us to reflect on the mysteries of existence and the wonders of being aware. This video highlights the complexity of the issue, illustrating the interdisciplinary efforts to understand consciousness. While definitive answers remain elusive, the exploration itself offers profound insights into what it means to be alive and aware.